I'm David Lederberg, and with Smart Charge America, we're here today to talk about something very special, something uh, as the Generation 3 Tesla wall connector, but unique. It's very unique in that it has a universal J1772 connector. Really cool. So uh, just if you don't know about us, Smart Charge America, we're a company completely focused on the sale, service, and installation of electric car chargers. We've been doing it since 2007. Uh, so this is all we do, this is what we love, we're passionate about this, uh, and when we get something cool and new, we can't wait to talk about it. So this is something we just got in here. Uh, again, this is Generation 3, and I have something unique here too. I have the Universal uh, Generation 2 wall connector. So I want to go into some of the different aspects of this today. If you're not aware, I actually have a video that I've done in the past about this Universal J1772 wall connector. You can reference, uh, go ahead, check it out on YouTube. So I'm gonna talk about this one first, and what a lot of people don't know, um, and this is something we're very familiar with, because we've worked with Tesla for many years. So we've worked with them on commercial jobs, residential jobs, we've literally installed more Tesla wall connectors than anyone else on planet Earth. I can confidently say that because they call me and tell me how many I'm ordering and by the pallet and whatnot, we do it all over the country. So uh, when we first were working with Tesla early on in like 2015, 2016, they had this program called the Destination Charge Program. Uh, so we installed these uh, wall connectors at countless hotels, entertainment, attraction locations, all over the country. It was usually two Tesla specific wall connectors and then a Clipper Creek charging station, which is a universal charge any electric vehicle in North America. So we did those quite a bit back then. Tesla started to realize, hey, we're doing so many of these. Uh, it doesn't make sense to keep buying from someone else. You know, we're Tesla, right? We should be able to make uh, our own charger. So of course they did. And that's where we get this J1772 connector put on the uh, Generation 2 wall connector. And you can see this, uh, not a lot of people know, this is a charger that is actually manufactured by Delta Electronics for Tesla. So Delta took care of all the software, hardware and manufacturing. Uh, and that's in contrast to now the generation three we have here, which is of course, you know, Tesla's not a charger manufacturer, they have someone else make it, but the software and chip is all owned by Tesla. So they're, they're complete control of software, which is a really key uh, feature and certainly will really show dividends over time on what Tesla is able to do with that. But back in these days with the gen two, it was you know somewhat limited. This, you can see this cable here is much smaller compared to the uh, you know the cable on say the Gen 2 uh, Tesla specific at the time, it was much thicker because it was 100 amp, this one's only 50 amp, 5.0, uh, meaning it only outlets 40 amp continuous max. And so again, Tesla was putting, started to put these out at destination charge locations all over the country, but then that program just got cut and they had pallets and pallets of these chargers sitting around at their factory for actually several years. Finally, someone was, I guess, focused on cleaning out uh, shop and I got a call from my contacts at Tesla to say, hey, do you want some of these? So I actually bought a pallet uh, and I've been selling them since. I got, still got some, I love keeping and uh, holding on to these. They still are capable of some of the unique functionality of the generation two wall connector, like for instance, circuit sharing. So if I have say a single 50 amp breaker, I can't add another one to my panel. I can put two of these J1772 Gen two wall connectors to share that one breaker which is really great to help you save on space in the panel. Uh, electrical capacity limitations allows you to get around uh, some of those limitations. So uh, it's, it's really a great charger. I, I like it a lot. Certainly it serves the function of a basic commercial universal charger. So we have that here. I have a more in-depth interview on this uh, or just a full review on this in uh, YouTube. But really the, the, the cool thing today is going to be talking, in fact, I'll get this out of the way now. We're going to talk more about this Generation 3. So, man, this is, uh, how cool is this? So, it's, this is so quick out of the factory, it still has a picture of the Tesla-specific connector on it, right? So, with this, you can't quite see, uh, you know, know that it's a J1772. The only thing that you would know is if you look here on the label, you know, you can see that closely, it says J1772. So, here, I'll bring it up a little closer to the camera so you can see that, but that's about it. You know, there's really nothing else. Uh, uh, so that really, I would just want to focus on the fact that, again, Tesla just put this out. This is one of the first few. And here we go. Beautiful, black, glossy, gorgeous. I mean, this, I think, just looks absolutely beautiful. So, so why did this come about? Why is there a Gen 3? Well, 
Uh, as I told you about the Gen 2 and the Destination Charge program back in 2016 timeframe, this is something that they're starting to roll out again, but here in 2021, 2022, I'm installing chargers at countless locations across the country right now, apartments, entertainment, attraction sites, uh, different types of hotels, hospitality, and we're installing, again, Tesla's gifting chargers to these sites, anywhere from six to 24 chargers, and they're even helping with the installation costs. So some of these sites that I'm going to, I'm installing these at no cost to the property owner. Phenomenal offering. No, it's not available to you or just anyone that wants to call Tesla and say, I want free chargers. No, it's not how it works. So don't do that. And certainly don't tell them that David sent you, please. Uh, instead, again, we're focused on this now. And of course, Tesla focused on the adoption of electric vehicles and not just Teslas. Of course, they want more Teslas out there, but any electric vehicles are good. And I think their intentions and are, are truly pure because they came out with this. Uh, focus completely on J1772. So here's, again, proof. The, uh, basically the, the docking port right here on the side. Uh, so this holster, as you can see, is not designed for just holding a Tesla connector. It's for J1772. And so when we got this, this is completely focused on the, these commercial properties that we're working at. But Tesla, like I told you, they designed this from ground up with the Gen 3. They're also doing the software. So here I have the connector out and, you know, again, looking at this, you'll notice this is very slim. This is the slimmest universal J1772 connector I've ever seen. So a lot of them, they're chunky, they're blocky, they have, you know, really tight, uh, sharp ends and, and basically little corners that really don't feel very good in the hand. You know what? They do that for manufacturing as low a cost handle as possible. So I kind of get it. You know, they got to do plastic molds. They got to put it together. They're trying to keep that cost down. Well, here with Tesla, I don't see any of the signs of trying to control cost and get it to a certain point. You know what? I, I really respect that. They wanted to build something that's honestly, just like you've seen Tesla, something that's just beautiful. Do it different than anyone else. How can we do it? So it looks better. It looks like a Tesla you know, design this. And you know what? I think they accomplished exactly that. It looks beautiful. I actually even heard from my contacts at Tesla, they just got a little delayed because they were spending extra time on this connector, you know, and I, it shows. So if any of you guys are watching this, uh, definitely kudos to you. You did a great job. Uh, if we look at this connector, I mean, does it fit? Does it work? Well, you know, I can tell you, I already put it in my J1772 tester. We use these for all the time for testing at commercial sites, residential sites, and it feels great. It holds it in really good, nice and tight. And I put the little latch up to let it uh, decouple and it works great. So it's, and it feels very solid, you know, nice, good click in, very little movement. So I think they really, it was, it was head on. They really did a good job. And uh, so far, again, the light cable and the, the candle that fits just perfectly in your hand, the slimline latch release, I think it's really hit all the points that I love to see in a good connector. They hit it uh, on the money. So great job, Tesla.